It was produced here, but Waka the musical is making waves right now in London where it's been performed in theatres. The musical was a huge success last year here in Lagos. It follows the fate of a group of young graduates who strike a wager before setting out on their chosen path in life. Audiences in London are expected to get a taste of what life is like for young people in Nigeria. Joining us now is executive producer of the musical, Mrs. Bonale Austin Peters. Thank you for joining us today on the program. Hello. Oh, what's it like for you seeing your work produced in Nigeria go global? Um, we're very excited um, that this has happened um, because it's never happened before. I'm um, having a Nigerian musical show. Um, in London, so for us, it's a privilege. Oh, we understand there's been a few performances already. What, how would you describe the turnout? We were sold out. Um, I mean, the next was the first day, which is normally the most difficult, uh, was completely sold out. Um, also, um, tomorrow, today is sold out as it is. Uh, it's been very impressive. We've had massive turnout. And um, it's uh, cross-cutting as well from various... We thought it was going to be Africans, um, but we, interestingly, it's been able to cross over. Okay, since it's been able to cross over, how is it perceived by those who have never been to Nigeria, for instance? Um, for instance, we talked to um, Radio Australia yesterday, and um, the, the, the gentleman was fascinated um, looking at all of our costumes, our dance and our music and he said he'd never seen anything like that you know um, and also we had people who traveled in from Germany specifically to come and see this production um, so really it's very exciting that we are beginning to export our own culture our own music um, and translating it into stage uh, for the world to see. Oh Mrs. Austin Peters can you tell us more about the story behind the musical? Um, Waka is a contemporary story um, put together by our team and written by Tunde Babalola for. It's about graduates leaving school in Nigeria and um, what they all eventually um, become in, in the years to come. So we have the story of the one who goes into politics, we have the story of the gentleman who wants to get rich quick, uh, and then we have the one who follows the straight and narrow and wants to build Nigeria. Well, it's been on stage in Lagos and now it's in London. Where is Waka the musical headed next? Uh, well, as it is, we'll probably come back to Lagos for Christmas, which we always do. Um, and um, we'll, 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 we'll take a step at a time. We'll take it a step at a time. Hopefully, by coming here, we'll probably have to come back again at some point because there's clearly a demand for this uh, kind of theater. I mean, we had interviews yesterday. The BBC said they'd never seen anything like this, where theater, African theater in particular, um, is filled up. And the gentleman was completely bowled over. He was, he was very pleased by what he saw. Well, Waka is a musical. Why did you choose to go that line rather than go the line of a regular conventional movie? Well, as it is, well, I think that um, the movie industry is very saturated. I'm sure you know that. Um, but I'm sure you also know that theater in Nigeria for a while, um, when I died out, what we're doing at Terra Culture is that we're trying to promote all art forms, um, from visual arts to the performing arts and literary arts. So theater, we started seven years ago, and um, the journey so far has been on the on the increment and we hope that we can create more jobs and we can create more opportunities for our youths as well as exporting our culture and our, our our expertise really because Nigerians are very talented people but because theater is particularly very expensive infrastructure is also lacking in Nigeria so it's very difficult for a lot of people to to to, to do theater but we've been fortunate that we have a lot of sponsors and support from corporate Nigeria. And that has changed the conversation for theater today. Well, you've talked about the fact that theater is very expensive and you've also talked about the infrastructure, for instance. But what are the other challenges that you probably had to face in making this movie, for instance? 
The first thing is pace. Like, you know, I mean, we have very few theaters in Nigeria. So what happens with our productions? We do the first time um, in, at the Muslim Center, and then we review it because you don't get an opportunity to actually see what you're doing at that point. Um, second is um, technology. Musical is very heavy in terms of um, projections, in terms of um, equipment. And most people can't afford to put that together because you need a live orchestra um, playing. And then of the talent also. We have very few people who combine the three skill sets, dance, singing, and dancing. Um, so that's also something that increasingly we're finding that there are a lot of young people who would like to be involved in musical theater, um, but never had that platform to do so. So what we've provided them is this platform now, and it's, it's in, 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 incredible. The number of people that have all of a sudden come out of the woodworks to say, look, I'm a closet actor, I'd love to sing, I'd love to dance. And we're glad now that we have this opportunity to showcase our, our talent. Now, how easy or how difficult was it casting for this movie? Um, for this stage play, it was, you know, because we've done quite a bit now, um, people know what we do, so we get a lot of um, casts, uh, actors um, asking to be part of what we do. So typically we send out word and um, we do an audition. Um, we have a lot of talent in Nigeria. Honestly, it's frightening to know that there's so much talent just sitting there uh, because they just do not have the right platform to showcase what they have. And look at us three years into starting musicals in Nigeria. We know where we started from, we know where we are today. Imagine in 10 years time what the conversation will be. Oh, you're talking about 10 years time. I was just going to ask you, how would you describe the future of musical performances in Nigeria? It can only get better. Imagine the music industry. Imagine what happened um, 10 years ago, 12 years ago. It was almost non-existent. If in three years we've been able to change the conversation to people um, coming to see musical performances, three generations, grandparents, their children, and the grandchildren, were beginning to change um, entertainment, and we're also providing alternative source of, of right. um, relaxation for Thank families. you very much, Mrs. Austin Peters, for joining us on Network Africa. Thank you very much.